welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you how i make my wraps um yeah i just made some jerk shrimp so i was like you know what i'm gonna put it in a little wrap i have some little appetizer bowls i made on the previous video so stay tuned So if you saw my previous videos, I had made some jerk shrimp. So this is them right here. I'm using about a teaspoon of Walker's Wood jerk seasoning and a teaspoon of the Walker's Wood um, Red Stripe Marinade. They are, um, yeah, Walker's Wood sent me these bottles. So definitely appreciate that. Um, I already washed, cleaned the shrimp with lime and water. And I also have two lobster tails in here. So it's about two pounds of the um these are wild Patagonian pink shrimp, so they're naturally pink in color, so they're not pre-cooked, so make sure you don't buy pre-cooked shrimp for any of your recipes. All right, so like I said, I'm using a teaspoon of each, so a teaspoon of the jerk seasoning. You can use mild or the hot and spicy, and I'm using a teaspoon of the um, jerk marinade, and then I'm also going to use just a teaspoon of the... Um, it's just all-purpose seasoning just you know season accordingly because shrimp does not require much seasoning so it's just a jerk seasoning it's given um, the flavor there's a lobster tail so just gonna you know you can leave them whole or cut them up but these um wild Patagonian shrimp they have the same taste and texture it's like eating baby lobsters so you'll definitely enjoy them if you have not tried them all right so I'm just gonna cover this up and set it to the side All right, so my skillet was on um, medium to high heat, so I can just, you know, sear these really fast. And you can actually check these skillets out there on my Amazon storefront. And um, while we're here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you can, you know, get all the latest videos as soon as I drop them. I'm just going to toss these shrimp on, well, actually just fry them on each side for one to two minutes. So the whole process is less than um, four minutes. For the shrimp because shrimp does not require a lot of heat they'll actually you know if you leave them in there too long they'll just become chewy and they'll just shrink up to nothing all right so make sure you don't overcook your shrimp so just taking them out see i fried um uh first batch already because it's actually i think each pound comes with 16 to 25 so it was quite a few shrimp in this bag so definitely it's a it was a, sh a shrimp feast okay all right, so I'll pair this up with the pineapple salsa, pina colada sauce, fried plantain, pineapple rice, um, shredded purple cabbage, and yeah, that's basically it, so. All of this is actually, if you go back on my channel, you'll see all those other videos to showing you how to make everything that went with this recipe. And like I said, you can eat it as a bowl, you can share a nice plate, or you can just, you know, put it in a wrap um just showing you different variations of you know how flexible food is and so many different things that you can do with your um with your meals okay all right see how delicious this looks so this is this is actually called a lazy susan if you ever wanted to purchase one um i've had this one um for a while but i um it always goes great when i'm making my tacos or like nice little taco spread all right, and um, I'm just heating these tortillas on, you know, for a few minutes on each side. They are a lot flexible to fold and they're warm when you do them this way. Just, you know, add a little oil, um, grease to your to the skillet and just remove them. That's basically it is what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna show you how I cut them and um, you can make a little cute little wrap or you can, you know, you can roll it up into a burrito, whatever you wanna do. So all this need is just one slit. There it is, see? how um, You can just fold them um, either way. Just give it that one slit and that's it. And then you just add all your ingredients to your wrap. That's my pina colada sauce. It's optional if you wanna put that on there, but it's very delicious, all right? And um, yeah, just lather it all over. Well, not lather, spread it. <laughs> it's not, 
spread the sauce um, all over the, the tortilla. And then I'm um, just gonna, you know, I'm just making accordingly to what everyone's request is. You can choose to remove the tail of the shrimp or you can leave them on. So it's up to you. And what's a good taco or <laughs> a wrap without some avocado? All right, so this is um, how I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna drop everything. All right, so this is for my son. I'm just adding the ingredients he wanted. I'm just gonna go ahead and add each, um, just go ahead and spread some more pina colada sauce on here and um, get some purple cabbage. That purple cabbage really gives it that pop and definitely, I topped it with some of the pineapple salsa and like I said you can go back on um, the previous videos and see the, the pineapple salsa recipe. See how nice and plump the sh um, wild Patagonian shrimps are? They're so delicious. You must definitely give them a try if you've never tried them. So I'm just, you know sharing accordingly to everyone's request and how they want their um meals package <laughs> that's a package how, how their um everything to be wrapped up so that's what i'm doing so um some wanted plantain so you can add your fried plantain right there see how nice that is it kind of reminds me like it's like eating plantain with bread and everything and um gonna go ahead and top it up with see pineapple salsa fresh salsa goes great on everything you can eat salsa with salmon jerk chicken it goes great with curry um, jerk wings anything so that was it so again thank you for watching i will see you on the next video bye